Guys, in this video, we are going to be doing a tabletop uh, close-up of the Kimber Custom 2 1911. You guys seem to like some of these tabletop reviews that I have been doing lately, so I wanted to bring out a few more of my guns and show them to you all. Uh, if you are uh, have been a follower of my channel for quite some time, you know that this is not a new gun to my channel. I have had this gun for quite some time, and it is in several other videos that I have done. Now, for those of you guys out there who are 1911 fans, you will certainly recognize the name Kimber. Now, some people love Kimbers, some people do not. It really depends on your personal um, feelings, you know, uh, your personal experience, things like that. Uh, me, I am a fan of Kimber 1911s. I have several of them. If you have uh, seen my videos, you will know that. Now, of course, we are in a safe environment for the YouTube moderators. You know, this is where I have conducted classes and we are unloaded. Now, there are a lot of different manufacturers on the market these days doing a lot of different things with the 1911. Uh, the Kimber Custom 2 is just basically a basic 1911. Of course, this one is the two-tone. Uh, some of the older custom model Kimbers are a solid color. You know, they do not have the two-tone frame like this one does. And this is basically what you're going to get out of the box. I've not done anything to this gun since I have had it, and I don't intend to. I bought this gun the way that it is. And I enjoy shooting it the way that it is. Of course, it does have the rosewood grips on it. Uh, these are a very nice grip. They really look good with this two-tone finish, in my opinion. Now, the Custom 2 being more of a basic 1911, you can see that it does not have some of the features available on various other models, including the ambidextrous safety. Some people like that, some people do not. If you are a lefty, uh, that may be of some concern to you, you know, when shooting this gun, but you can add that. I mean, that is something that you could add to this firearm if you chose to do so. The safety, of course, is very positive. It is very solid and very easy to reach compared to the traditional 1911 safeties. Now, some of you guys uh, know the uh, original, the old government model 1911s. You'll know that that safety is very small. Uh, some people could have a difficult time reaching it, but on this gun, it is very easy to reach. I mean, it's more than just that little bump that sticks out on some of those models. Uh, Kimber has been criticized for using MEM parts, but at the same time, if you were to go through every gun manufactured out there, you're going to find some uh, criticism of some way that those parts were manufactured, and that goes for virtually every gun out there. I have never seen a gun that someone didn't criticize for one reason or another. The parts in the Kimber that are the MEM parts are parts that could easily be MEM parts without any issues. You know, these guns have run for quite some time and have had, you know, uh, no issues. You know, I've not had any issues with this firearm. Uh, this gun does not have the memory bump. And, you know, this version of a Kimber does not have the memory bump on the grip safety. However, if you'll notice how that the safety stands out a little bit more compared to some of the other models that are out there, um, you know, you can get a good grip on this gun and disengage that grip safety. That is one of the features of this gun, you know, minus the memory bump. But again, it does stick out a little more. Now, some 1911s, you will see that grip safety actually go flush, particularly on a lot of the uh, custom 1911s that are out there. A lot of your custom manufacturers, that's one thing that they will pride themselves on is basically the smoothness in the lines when you close uh, when you engage that grip safety as well as several other things you know this is a machine manufactured gun it is not a custom fitted gun however when kimber first came out that was something that they were known for i mean this is as close as you can get to a custom-made gun without the custom-made gun 
price. There are other 1911 manufacturers coming on the market that are making some great stuff. If you have followed my channel for a while, uh, you'll know that I own a few different ones, and you can go and actually check out the playlist that I have just on 1911s if you are a 1911 fan. Now, one thing about Kimbers is they only come with one magazine when you buy them. Okay, that is, you know, like it or love it, hate it, whatever. You know, that's what they come with, just a single magazine. And with a 1911, not, the magazine is the key to reliability, okay? If you do not use a good quality magazine in your 1911, it is not going to be reliable. I've talked about that in multiple videos. I have also gone into why it is important that a 1911 be broken in compared to a lot of newer guns on the market. Uh, a 1911 is a completely different design, designed by John Moses Browning and adopted by the U.S. military in, of course, 1911, hence the name. The sights on this, very basic, just a three-dot sight, uh, nothing fancy. Uh, the top of it is not shiny. It does not have the same type of polish that are on that is on the side of this. It is, you know, of course, you don't want that glare when trying to shoot. Of course, it does feature the full length guide rod. Some people like that, some people do not. Whatever. It's up to the individual's preferences, individual choice. Now, one of the things that it does not have is checkering on the front strap. While the mainspring housing does have checkering, the front strap of the gun does not. Some people like that, some people don't. Again, it's all about personal preference. It does not feature the undercut underneath the trigger guard. You know, that is something reserved for uh, more expensive options, let's just say it that way. Uh, but it does still have a nice, uh, you know, a lot of nice features. It does have the front slide serrations if you are someone who likes that for press checking or whatever. Uh, it does have the skeletonized hammer and trigger. And the trigger on this particular gun, and just to show you again for all the safety sallies out there, we are unloaded. The trigger on this gun is relatively nice. You know, uh, there's very little take up and you're right at the wall. Okay, and once you press through that wall, that hammer falls. And of course, it will reset right about just slightly moving just right about there okay it falls again okay no problem whatsoever now another thing about this gun is it is not necessarily a series 70 gun you know it does have the firing pin block safety uh you know the way that kimber manufactured these that is one of the features on this gun you know more like the series 80 and it is still, I've never had an issue with uh, the trigger on this, you know. And as far as the trigger, some people like the Series 70s triggers versus Series 80s triggers. And guys, I can tell you that it will really depend on the manufacturer. I have some Series 80s, 80 1911s that have better triggers than some Series 70 1911s that are out there okay it really depends on the manufacturer it depends on the uh any work that's been done on the gun uh, you know there's a lot of variables on that you know there are inconsistencies between one manufacturer to another as far as how their triggers are uh, you could even say within some manufacturers there's different inconsistencies in lines of their guns as far as how the triggers are uh, the 1911 classic design absolutely solid in my opinion uh, the sights on these again they're just three dots but they are dovetailed in you know you could replace these if you so chose to with something better but for a range gun which is what i typically will use this gun for these work fine you know they're uh, they work fine for me for what i use it for but if you are going to carry this gun as a defensive firearm uh, you may choose to upgrade those to something a little bit better you know but there are people that will carry this gun just as it is okay but uh, anyways guys this is just a video that i wanted to do show you guys a little more of a close-up of the kimber custom 2 1911 and you can see that this gun is very clean i do get it out and occasionally shoot it when the weather is nice unlike now when it's just super cold and windy so 
but it is a very enjoyable gun. But guys, let me know your thoughts on the Kimber Custom 2 1911 down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Check out all the links down in the description. And guys, visit my website at boomsticktactical.com, and we'll see you next time.